Okay, I've seen uh, this being made on a lot of internet videos, and I'm going to have just a suggestion to make on how to do this a little bit differently. My materials are, and this is a bandana, which is a little bit longer, larger than a uh, handkerchief. I have two rubber bands. And in this case, it's a non-woven material. It's like interface. I'm going to use this as my filter. You can use whatever you have as a filter if you have something different that you prefer. In other words, you could use a uh, HEPA filter out of a vacuum cleaner that you cut to size. The reason I'm putting it here is so that I can end up having it trapped in the material. I'm going to fold that up. I'm going to fold this. I'm going to put my rubber bands on. I've already done this, so I know what size I need to do. Uh, you'll just have to do that and then you might take a couple of tries until you learn out uh, what size you need. I have a bulbous head, so I need a slightly larger mask. And I'm going to fold this in, and then I'm going to fold this one in, and I'm going to tuck it inside the other one. Kind of lock it in a little bit better. Put it up. Okay, and that's, this is what you should end up with. Now, what I've noticed, in addition to pulling my hearing aid out, is that if you breathe through your nose, it's, it's fairly easy with this, even with the filter material, and I think that's because the air is coming from the top. When you mouth breathe, you're actually pulling more air in through the filter material, and it's tougher, and you have quite a few layers of material in there, okay? So you might give that a shot. <laughs> this is These are desperation moves, folks, for folks that don't have access to anything else, and if you're shut in and you can't get to, to, to things you need, that you need to do to, uh, to take care of yourself. This is something that you can do at home, and I, and I grant you it's not as good as an N95. Look, peace be with you. Hang in there. We're going to get through this.